Hey guys, Zogan3 here. Um, today I've got a quick tutorial. Uh, it's actually a um, rendering, uh, editing, and capturing tutorial. Um, yeah, so I'll basically be showing you the basics of what settings and stuff that I use when I'm editing my videos, uh, how I record, and all that stuff. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll be using Sony Vegas Pro 11 and Total Media Extreme uh, by ArcSoft. Um, this is for my PVR, and this is just what I edit with. Um, this will also work for Sony Vegas Pro 8, 9, and 10. Uh, so if you don't have Vegas Pro 11, uh, you should still be good to go if you've got any of the other ones. Um, with the recording, uh, you can use Fraps or you can use a Dazzle with Pinnacle or whatever. Um, they're all the same. Uh, they all pretty much do the same sort of thing. Uh, a Dazzle is a little harder because you can occasionally get like screen tearing and stuff. But um, yeah, for this I'll be using my HD PVR. Um, as you can see, I've got these settings. Here's the video. Uh, if you go Format Settings, um, you'll want to put it on um, 8.5 Mbps. Uh, you'll want to have 3.3 3 and AC3. Um, these are pretty much all standard. The reason you want it on 8.5 is so that you get good quality, but it's not like filling up your computer pretty much. Uh, you also want to have it on YPRPB as the video input, obviously, RCA Black, and uh, two channel stereo for the PC audio mode. Um, you want it on you want it on PS3, even if it is Xbox, like mine is Xbox, as you can see the B button and all that stuff. Um, you do want it on PS3 because this will record it in a M2TS uh, instead of an MP4, and uh, the M2TSs are actually better uh, for some reason. Like they're just easy to work with; they're not as big. It's all good. Um, so yeah, put it on PS3, and uh, I'll just record some random thing. I'll actually press start, and then I'll just press capture. I'll record for about 10 seconds. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, blah, blah, blah. Just randomly auto-assign. Okay, that's about 10 seconds, and I can't be bothered to wait for this. So yeah, stop. So that's 15 seconds of recording. Um... So that's all G. Now I'll just close that, get rid of it. Uh, now, you, when you're in Vegas, you want to go File, Import, Media. Um, and you want to import the footage that you just recorded, obviously. Uh, mine is actually not in there. It is in here. It will be this and this. Well, I'm just going to import my intro so I can give you some contrast as to what other stuff... Um, I'm talking about. So, here is my intro, and here is my game clip thing. Uh, first things first, as you can see, you probably can't, but there is actually a thin black line. Uh, if you go here, I'll just find a spot where you can actually see it. Um, there you go, you can see it very clearly there. Uh, if you go here, uh, and you zoom in on this, see how there's like a black edging around here? This will actually go around the corner as well. Uh, you want to make a preset. By doing that, you just uh, click and uh, drag this in a little bit. Uh, see how it actually moves the picture up here uh, when I'm dragging this around? Um, you want to go, make sure you're on the... Whoops, a daisy. You want to make sure you are on the start of the timeline. So that probably wasn't the best time to do it. Uh, and you just want to drag this in a little bit. I've actually got a preset um, called HD PVR preset and see how it drags in the corner uh, just a little bit so um, it cuts off that little black bit around the edge um, and then you can just name it and click this button to save it. Um, so yeah that will cut off the black line as you can see it's no longer there um, and then next thing you want to do is you want to uh, you can either add sharpen or color curves. I'll add sharpen first because I'm already on it. You want to go, you won't have an HD PVR preset, but you want to just drag any of these on and you want to put it to 0 0.125. And what this does is it actually sort of sharpens up the edges. Um, as you can see, if I increase this more and more, you can see it sort of makes it a bit grainy and 
dodgy so you don't want it too much but you want it on a little bit just because it sort of defines the edges a bit more so i find 0 0.125 actually works the best uh next thing you want to do is color curves um which is here i again have a preset made um but if you watch this i didn't add it yet see here how it's kind of a bit washed out not really too much but if I add this, it goes much richer and nicer and it, like makes the darks darker and the lights lighter. Pretty much you just want to make the picture this like weird shaped line thing by dragging these around. Just want to make it into about this shape. Uh, you can make it a bit more pronounced if you want, but I find if you do it too much it actually makes it look a bit dodgy. Uh, which is why I like to use it like that because it makes it nice and it's like in between too over the top and too washed out so that will pretty much give you nice color and nice image quality um like i said this does work on fraps recordings and dazzle recordings um so you can use all of these settings uh you might want to tweak them around a little bit but you will get a pretty nice finish at the end um then want to right click and go properties uh, and you want to click disable resample uh, and also if you've got a standard screen ratio clip and you want it to go widescreen you just click maintain aspect ratio because uh, mine's already recording in widescreen I don't need to do that but um, yeah just whatever works so however you want it um, so yeah disable resample and okay what this does is, as you buffer through the clips, um, it won't really work too much here because there's not much movement, but um, normally there'll be kind of like a little sort of phase. Like, it'll try and generate frames to put between the, um, each actual recorded frame. It is a good thing if you're putting it in super slow-mo, but I'm not going to go into that. Um, next, what you want to do is you want to split the audio track, so just click... And drag it down um, an, onto another track. So like it'll just generate another track like that. Um, then you want to go here. Uh, so this is the audio for my intro. This is the audio for my game volume. And then I'll have another audio track. Um, which will be my voice recording. Uh, so with the voice recording one. You want to increase it to about 1 to 2. Uh, just sort of look around for it however loud you want it and then this game volume you want to turn this down to about negative 26 ish uh these can all change depending on how loud your recording is and all that stuff uh and then for the intro i'd usually just keep it on either default which is 0, 0.0 decibels or i crank it up to maybe like one but for this i'll just keep it on zero for the easy bit Okay, that'll do. Um, yeah, so once you've done all that, you're pretty much ready to render. Uh, you've just got to sync up your um, game clip uh, to your intro and your audio up to all that. Um, but I usually leave a little gap just between the explosion on my intro and the start of the game clip. Um, and then I'll also have my audio synced up to the game clip and all that stuff. But yeah, once you've done that, you are ready to render. So you go File, Render As. Uh, it'll load all the render templates. Uh, what you want to go into is Main Concept, AVC, forward slash AAC, and then in brackets it'll have MP4. Uh, then you want to go down to Internet HD 720p, or if you've already got a um, template made, which I do, uh, you can use that, I guess. But um. For this, just go into this, and I'll give you the settings that you need to change. Um, you want to change... Whoops, that's the wrong one. Uh, this one. Okay, you want to change all of the settings to the same as this. So, width 1280 by 720. You want to have 30 FPS, and you want to have 4 million BPS. Uh, what this will do is it'll make the bitrate pretty much um so it won't have the file size won't be too big if you put it on this because i used to run it on 14 million and it used to be i'd get a 10 minute file and it'd be about a gig uh if i do this a 10 minute file can be as little as 
400 meg to 300 meg. So it is uh, much more effective. Um, also, you want to run this at 30 and not 60 um, for standard gameplays, just because it's a waste if you put it up too high. Uh, if you do want it higher, you can have it higher. So, like, if I'm editing a montage with lots of slow-mo, I'll usually bump this up to 60, and uh, it'll all work out perfectly. Um, audio, you can leave all this pretty much the same. Uh, project, you want video render setting on best. And uh, you can use these, but I very recommend not, because most of you won't be able to record in 3D. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then you just want to name whatever the file you want it to be called. I'll just name this testes, I guess, because it's a test and all that stuff. So, yeah, a uh, good HTPVR 50. I've actually got a 59 uh, and then just a normal one. This one's for fraps. But, yeah, just good HTPVR 30 FPS with those settings will work good. And then you just click render. It'll render it. It'll go through the video. It might take a while. Um, and then once you've done all that, it will be all good, and you can upload it, and it should all be fine. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, hope you guys make some good commentaries uh, and some good gameplay clips and videos and stuff. Um, my name is King 3 and I will see you guys... Well, I'm actually going to have a video tomorrow, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, peace!